this is a novel that I'm particularly fond of. It's called An American Tragedy, and it's written by an author called Theodore Dreiser, who was an American who lived in the first half of the 20th century. He died in 1945. Um, it's a story of a murder um, that was, it's based on an actual event, a murder that took place in 1906 and was uh, widely um, reported in the American media at that time. Um, Dreiser actually wrote the novel in 1925 um, and it's actually it's been turned into a film on a number of occasions, um, once in 1931, uh, but more recently in 1951, when there was a very, um, to my mind, poor adaptation of it. Um, a good film, but a poor adaptation, if that makes sense. The film was called A Place in the Sun, and it starred uh, Montgomery Clift, Elizabeth Taylor and Shelley Winters, um, but it was a bit, from the fan of the novel's point of view, it's it very disappointing when I first saw it because uh, it's actually taken out of the Edwardian era and set in the 1950s and it's um, only kind of half the story. Um, so quite an inad inadequate adaptation, despite the fact that it was a highly um, acclaimed film, um, won quite several uh, awards and so on, but not, not to my mind anywhere near the, uh, the quality of this book. Um, Theodore Dreiser was uh, very left-leaning um, which may be why he is not um, so widely known nowadays. Um, it, 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 he, he actually, in the, in the final few months of his life, he, he even joined the, the Communist Party. Um, and obviously since then we've had the Cold War and McCarthyism and so on in, in America. And um, his his works have really been pushed to the the background, but they are they I can highly recommend uh, this book in particular. I'll, I'll show you some of his other titles in a moment. Um, really worth really worth investigating. Um, his main um, thrust really, Dreiser, was, was he 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 was interested in. Um, stories about people's uh, behaviour and their morals, and how they how that was affected by um, economic circumstances and people's ambitions and, and drive to prosper and do well, um, but at the same time um, to have fairly kind of um, low moral standards to to want to acquire wealth, um, to want to um, succeed uh, with women, that kind of thing. Um, so fairly kind of, um, it's, it's like his stories involve characters who have fairly kind of basic human drives, greed, lust, um, ambition, um, but at the same time, set in a in a in a world where um, you're driven by um, economic necessities and so on, and um, I won't give too much of the plot of American Tragedy away, other than to say it is based on a, an actual um, event, a murder that took place, as I say, in 1906. Um, it's the story of a character um, called Clyde Griffiths, who grows up in a in a in a very kind of uh, constrained um, atmosphere of a very religious uh, proselytizing family, um, and as he grows uh, to manhood, he um, 
falls in with some um, fairly sort of uh, lax uh, acquaintances and um, eventually gets himself into trouble and has to move out of town so he moves to um, he moves to work in a, in another town in a, in the factory belonging to um, a distant relative and he imagines that his family connections are going to allow him to um, rise up the social ladder in this factory and initially nothing of the sort happens and he becomes entangled with um, a female uh, factory worker um, and then just as he's um, uh, resigned himself to a fairly kind of uh, dull life attached to this woman he finally breaks into um, a sort of higher social circle um, and has to find a way of um, extricating himself from the, uh, the life that he's settled upon. Um, that's it in a very kind of brief nutshell, but the, um, it's, a, it's a very long, very detailed story of this man's life and um, the, the characters that he, uh, he becomes uh, associated with. So it's, that's not doing it justice. But the, as I say, the, the, the main themes are um, what, what's the state of the uh, nation's culture in, in, in reference to America and the, the, the sort of overriding drives to make money um, to, to, to prosper in a kind of capitalist system, what that can actually do to people, um, people's behaviour. Um, the, uh, most of his books are along those lines. Um, I've got quite a few here um, that I've read over the years. Uh, Jenny Gerhardt, I actually read that. Uh, I think I purchased it in England, but I took it with me to the one time I went to America read that in America. Um, it, it, another, another thing I ought to say, yeah, about um, Dreiser was really uh, disliked in America uh, for a lot of reasons. One, be, one being um, his clear um, left-leaning principles. He was a big campaigner and supporter of... Um, uh, workers who had been victimised in some way, um, down, to, not down to lynchings and imprisonments and deportations, that kind of thing. Um, but it, his books don't shy away from fairly kind of graphic um, uh, descriptions of, of sexual behaviour. And as you can imagine, in the sort of early part of the 20th century, that was... Um, Regarded with a certain distaste um, in America and in and in um, in England, if you, if you imagine D. H. Lawrence or someone like that, and the uh, uh, the attitude towards some of their, their sort of frank and explicit writing. Um, so Jenny Gerhardt originally was um, this this review on the back describes it as originally. A bit, um, being bodlerized, um, but this is this is the more frank and uh, unexpurgated uh, version of it. Um, this is another one that's very um, similar um, in that this this is one of his early works, Sister Carrie. Um, I can't remember when he actually wrote this, but I know it comes before an American tragedy. First published in 1900, yeah. So um, this, this is really the story of a woman who is um, preyed upon by um, a fairly wealthy um, middle-aged man and um, he sort of falls um, because, because he becomes um, obsessed with the woman, he, he actually declines in terms of his uh, 
economic and social stature, whereas she manages to ascend, to sort of rise up. Um, so she comes out of it uh, having kind of um, uh, risen up the social circle, whereas he, he sort of falls into, into a very kind of um, dramatic uh, decline. Um, again, not a very good... Uh, a very good description, but I'm trying to read on the back here if I can if I can give you a sort of slightly better synopsis of the book. Well, it says um, uh, with Sister Carrie first published in 1900, Theodore Dreiser transformed the conventional fallen woman story into a genuinely innovative and powerful work of fiction. As he hurled his impressionable Midwestern heroine into the throbbing amoral world of the big city, he revealed with brilliant insight the deep and driving forces of our culture. Here are America's restless idealism, her glamorous material seductions, her basic spiritual innocence. Um, yeah, so it doesn't really sum up the story any better than I've just done, but... Um, there you go. Um, some, not all of his stories are quite so well constructed. Um, some of them are a little bit clumsy and not particularly subtle. Um, this book, The Financier, is very much like that. Um, again, I'm not sure when he wrote this one. I would have thought it was maybe even before Sister Carrie. Um, oh no, 1912, so it's after Sister Carrie. Yeah, um, it's not bad. It's not a bad book, um, but uh, again, it's all it's all exploring the themes of um, how making money, accruing wealth, actually becomes part of a person's personality, and how they can um, rise and fall. Um, I think in this story, the, the financier actually ends up in prison at one stage. Um, got a few books of his short stories. Um, they're, they're, some of these are quite good, um, others not so good. But um, again, all with all with um, themes in them uh, about uh, struggles. It says here struggles with society and dreams of power and wealth against a backdrop of threatening poverty. Um, so those I've got two books that are full of. Uh, Short stories by Dreiser, but really this is the um, this is the main um, reason I wanted to do this video. Put it into my bookshelf uh, section. It's to recommend an American tragedy by Theodore Dreiser. Um, by all means, uh, get the DVD of the film called a Place in the Sun if you want, but don't get from that um, any any impression of what this book is is about, it's a truly a uh, great piece of literature this, full of, of, uh, of uh, good detailed descriptions of characters and, and the plot is, is a literal tragedy. You can see almost from the beginning the end of the story and the inevitability of uh, the consequences of, the, uh, of this young man's actions as he grows to adulthood. So there we go. Thanks very much for watching, everyone, and uh, see you again on the next video. Bye for now.